child Things are gonna get easier Ooh, child, things will be brighter Very unique story, 608 here on Richmond's Morning News here at 1140 WRVA. Imagine that you find out that your two sons have something known as myotonic muscular dystrophy. You know, you have no idea that that's what was the problem. You know, your kids had some symptoms like learning disabilities and stuttering and gastrointestinal problems, but find out that this is what it is. And you find out that it is basically incurable and progressive and... as a parent what your what your child's future is going to hold for the sun it's just darkened it's like a huge grieving process sometimes I feel like I'm living through a funeral of a whole family it affects the brain, heart, lungs, gastrointestinal system it causes a progressive muscle wasting I would say it just makes you really, really sad and very much afraid uh, for the future. Someday we'll put it together and we'll get it all done. Someday when the world is much brighter. Someday we'll walk in the rays of a beautiful sun. There's a, been a significant momentum in the understanding and it's actually viable to think about therapeutic approaches to treat this disease now. The interesting aspect of this model is that we could take away the toxic RNA and to our amazement the, the disease reversed itself. Uh, that is the muscle is got much better and went back to normal and in some of the cases the heart in these mice actually went back to normal as well. And to us that, that was amazing because as opposed to many treatments which stabilize the disease, this actually showed that we may actually be able to reverse the damage that's caused by the toxic RNA. The thing that excites me about this is that scientists have silenced this disease and even reversed it. So there is a cure in sight and they've done it in animals and now all we have to do is do it in human beings. We want the researchers to win this game. It's more important than a national championship or ACC championship or any other championship. We want to, we want to beat this thing. He turned the disease on and off in mice. Maybe in the next five or ten years that we might actually come up with some kind of treatments that, might, that we can bring into the clinic. But it will take a lot of money, and the Stones are working to get Mahadevan what he needs. They formed a nonprofit called the Stone Circle of Friends. This is the website, and they've produced a video. They use this video for fundraisers, sharing their story, hoping to touch as many hearts as possible. The idea of a circle really began when just after this diagnosis several people came and literally sat in a circle in our living room and discussed ideas about how to advance this really progressive yet also very underfunded research. 
A couple of the people there we had never even met before, and they quickly became friends, and thus it became known as our circle of friends. I remember being surprised that, that these people would come out and offer their time and energy to help people that they didn't even know. That circle in early 2007 really represents a much larger circle now, and after about 20 fundraising events and more than a thousand people pitching in, we still have complete strangers with compassionate hearts and great ideas and energy coming to us to help with this cause. It's been absolutely unbelievable. Right around Christmas time we had a family come ring our doorbell. They introduced themselves and said that they had heard the story and in lieu of exchanging presents they decided that they were going to give that money for myotonic dystrophy research. Randy Bly is a friend and a Grammy nominated musician for the group Lamb of God. He's offering his Grammy nomination medallion to be auctioned on on the internet for myotonic dystrophy research. We've had children come to the door and bring a jar of money from their lemonade stand that they had up the street. You know, it's not the money that's inside that jar that makes so much of a difference, but it's the energy and spirit that's inside the hearts of these children that really does make a difference. I mean, sometimes I wonder if they really realize that what they're doing is truly helping to change the world. I'm Tim Kaine, the Governor of Virginia. It's very exciting to see so many people joining together to help researchers find a therapeutic cure for myotonic muscular dystrophy. We should all be very proud that the Commonwealth is home to one of the world's leading researchers into this condition. The Stone Circle of Friends is a great example of how people can work together to make a difference in the world. Their efforts are advancing medical research, and if the momentum continues, we really may see myotonic dystrophy become cured or treatable within a decade. What a fantastic opportunity for people to leave their own legacy to the world for future generations. Because there's so little governmental funding available, the contributions of individuals have a tremendous impact and truly make a difference in advancing this research closer to a therapeutic cure. Bye, Mommy! Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Myotonic dystrophy most significantly affects the hands and feet and minds and hearts of people and I think it's very ironic and absolutely magnificent that it's exactly the hands, feet, minds and hearts of all these volunteers that is actually making a difference in moving this research closer to a cure. La, 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 la. of humanity that, that I didn't know existed, that now I do know exists, and that is that people are willing to give up their time, energy, and money to help other people for something that doesn't give them any personal direct gain, and it's just amazing to me to see this side of the world, and it's heartwarming. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm sure we have a few more people like that listening to our program this morning. We'll make sure we put a link to StoneCircleOfFriends.com up on our webpage and tell the story again. Things are going to be easier. Child, things will be brighter, brighter.